Well, here's the last of it. I've studied a little bit on uh, the secular, secularism and that. And in sociology book, secularism is under the religious part of it. Now I need to note one of the things, or a few of the things, seem to say that secularism has no morals. But if that's true, then there is no justice, is there? Or was justice a part of all Americans believed in give secularism the morals that it needed and why we separated church and state? Secularism, they say. Many scholars have noted that the modern society is becoming increasingly secularized. That is, less influenced by religion. Religious institutions are being confined to ever-narrowing spheres of social influence, while people turn to secular sources for moral guidance in their everyday lives. Berger, 1967. This shift is reflected in Americans' lack of religious knowledge. They are, for the most part, notoriously indifferent to and ignorant of the basic doctrines of their faiths. Of course, social and political leaders still rely on religious symbolism to influence secular behavior. The American Pledge of Allegiance tells us that we are one nation under God, indivisible, and our currency tells us that in God we trust. Since the turn of the century, however, Modern society has turned increasingly to science rather than to religion to point the way. Secular political movements have emerged that attempt to provide most, if not all, of the functions that religion traditionally fulfilled. For example, communism prescribes a belief system and an organization that rival those of any religion. Like religions, communism offers a general concept of the nature of all things and provide symbols that for its inheritance establish powerful feelings and attitudes and supply motivation toward action. Thus some political movements lack only a sacred or supernatural component to qualify as religious religions. In this increasingly secular modern world, however, sacred legitimacy appears to be unnecessary for establishing meaning and value in life. <clears throat> what I learned about the Republicans when I first started out years ago, and they talked all these church people into supporting them and putting all these crooks in offices and things. And still yet, they a lot of the candidates go out bragging about their religion pretty much by talking about it. They want those kind of people to do it, but Yet, these are people that do not live by their religion, and that religion means nothing to them if they don't. You've got policies and beliefs that you live your life by, but politicians don't do that unless they believe in morals and justice for all people. And this is another thing that I thought of, and this is in the Constitution of the United States, Article VI, all debts contracted engagements entered into before the adoption of this Constitution shall be as valid against the United States under this Constitution as under the Confederation. This Constitution and the laws of the United States, which shall be made in pursuance thereof, and all treaties made, or which shall be made, under the authority of the United States shall be the supreme law of the land, and the judges in every state shall be bound thereby. Anything in the Constitution or laws of any state, to the contrary, notwithstanding, the senators and representatives before mentioned, and the members of the several state legislatures, and all executive and judicial officers, both of the United States and of the several states 
shall be bound by oath or affirmation to support this Constitution, but no religious test shall ever be required as a qualification to any office or public trust under the United States. Now those uh, political candidates that talk about religion during their campaigns, doesn't that point them out as men who do treason, men and women, who are committing treason to our nation? I would think so. And as the Republicans are, they do not believe in equality. They forbid people to talk about equality because they want to think they're better than everybody else. And I think it's kind of connected with our education here too. And one of the things in here, in the part about education, the credential society. <clears throat> Conflict theorists would also argue that we have become a credentialized society. Collins, 1979. A degree or certificate <clears throat> has become necessary to perform a vast variety of jobs. This credential might not necessarily cause the recipient to perform the job better. Even in professions such as medicine, engineering, and law, most knowledge is acquired by performing tasks <coughs> on the job. However, credentials have become a rite of passage and a sign that a certain process of indoctrination and socialization has taken place. The individual is recognized as having gone through a process of educational so socialization that constitutes adequate preparation to hold the occupational status. Therefore, college and universities act as, a gate as gatekeepers, allowing those who are willing to play by the rules, and it sounds more like a game to me, to succeed while bar barring those who might disrupt the social order. Conform to the elite's immoral rules or you don't get to play. At the same time, advanced degrees are undergoing constant change and becoming less specialized. A law degree from Harvard, Yale, or Columbia is less a measure of the training of a particular candidate than a basis on which leading corporations major public agencies and important law firms can recruit those who will maintain the status quo. The degree signifies that the candidate has forged links with the established networks and achieved grades necessary to obtain a degree. Colleges and universities are miniature societies more than centers of technical and scientific education. In these environments, students learn to operate within the established order and to accept traditional social hierarchies. In this sense, they provide the power structure, structure with a constantly replenished army of defenders of the status quo. According to this view, those who could disrupt the established order are not permitted to enter positions of power and responsibility. <clears throat> For more on this topic, See, day-to-day -day sociology is a college degree worth the trouble. <coughs> <coughs> now, this is more like a communism-type beliefs. When you get it like this, you destroying the equality in our nation, then uh, you're trying to destroy it. You're trying to institute dictators. And it's like what I said, it's who you know if you can get a decent job. We have problems we need to fix. And this needs to be changed, definitely. So we'll see how it turns out. It's getting dark now. Y'all have a great night or day, wherever you are. And I'll study more on it later.